Okay, I am Amanda Kivit from Junction Fiber Mill, and I am going to show you how to use the custom text uh, tool, calculator tool for the Read This Hat, a pattern by Junction Fiber Mill. So if you're on our website and you go to junctionfibermill.com slash read dash this dash hat, you'll see this page. Scroll down and there's some instructions about how to create your own text chart or you can use uh, the link in your pattern as well. This is the link, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y uh, slash read this hat. If you click on that, it's going to take you to a Google Sheet template. It will look like this. Then you click use template and it's going to copy it into your own Google Drive. So here we go. This is the calculator. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what you see here, uh, there's a couple of variables. The total number of stitches is 104. Don't change that because that is the total number of stitches on the hat. The stitches between words, that's the amount of stitches in between the individual words. And then the stitches between letters, pretty self-explanatory. It's the number of stitches within the words uh, between the, the letters. So you can play with the stitches between words and the stitches between letters. And then the main thing you're gonna wanna play with is the text. So that's here, we've got it set for knit pearl, knit pearl. And you can kind of ignore all of uh, these um, guys here. These are just sort of used in the calculation. It'll say the total number of stitches that will take to knit this text and the total number left over. So that's just uh, the difference between 104 and 102. So if you wanted to knit to uh, to knit the knit pearl knit pearl motif, you would just have to find places to tuck those two extra stitches. I would recommend maybe instead of having five stitches between this word pearl and this word knit, you could have six. And again, you'd have six stitches in between this pearl and then the start of the row with this knit. So in real time, let's take a look at what we can do. Say we wanna make a holiday themed hat and I want to say, ho, ho, ho. So you can start typing text in this space here. Ho, ho, ho. And when you uh, click off of it, it's going to show you that, oh, okay, we have 50 stitches left over and it's highlighted in red because that is probably too many stitches. You don't wanna have that long of a flight, a float. So let's continue add a few more hoes in here. All right, we're down to 14 stitches left. Ho. Okay, negative four. That's pretty good. That means we would need to find places to subtract four stitches um, from this motif. So, you know, one thing I could do is change the number of uh, stitches between words to four, and then I would just need to add two stitches someplace. So that, that seems pretty good. So I think I could go ahead and use the alphabet chart included with the pattern and draw this out. And what I might do is just add maybe an extra stitch. So five stitches between these hoes and maybe five stitches between these hoes and the rest are gonna have five on them. Um, let's use another example. Let's see, how about I love Vermont? Cause I do. I love Vermont. Okay, and I want to, we have uh, a lot of stitches left over. I'm just going to increase my space between the words to five. Okay, I've still got 20 stitches left over. Maybe add an exclamation point. Nope, that didn't do much. Let's see if I add six stitches between the letters. So this one, you know, it might just not work out. Maybe I can change it to heart. Oh, I, I have 15 left over. So this just might not be a good uh, text to use um, on this, uh, on the hat. So you're gonna have to play around and kind of find something that works. Let's see, my name is Amanda. Can I fit my name on there? Let's see. All right, so maybe I could do it twice. And if I did like seven stitches, how about Amanda K? Okay, so that would be a pretty good fit. And again, I'm gonna then use this information here to say the number of stitches between words is seven, stitches between letters is two, and I'm gonna have negative two stitches left over. So between some of these words, I'm gonna need to subtract an extra stitch. Um, I hope that this was helpful. 
Uh, if it, anything is unclear, send us a comment to hello at junctionfibermill.com. We will try to clarify some stuff. And otherwise, um, we hope you have fun playing with this tool. It's just the first step in the process. And then again, you're going to have to go and use the alphabet chart included with your pattern and the blank charts included with your pattern to actually draw out uh, these letters. So have fun. We are so excited to see what you made.